calling all ice cream lovers, I have a great surprise for you. I've gathered together some of my favorite ice cream recipes just for you. And they're all made by hand, so no fussing with ice cream makers. I have a great no-churn vanilla ice cream and more. Check it out. Do you believe in magic? I know you do, and so do I. Wait till you get a load of this recipe for no-churn ice cream. It's one, two, three, four ingredients. Let me show you how to make it. One can of sweetened condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. This is the key ingredients, what's gonna make this dish. This one has a flip cap. You don't even need to use a can opener. Yay! Make sure you get all of it, every single drop. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Make sure you measure that not over the bowl, especially if your hands are a little shaky. I'm not saying mine are. And then two tablespoons of bourbon. If you don't like too much alcohol, you can cut it back a little bit, but I think the alcohol actually helps keep the ice cream soft and from forming ice crystals. Stir that baby together, and then all you have to do is whip some heavy cream. Two cups of heavy cream, lightly whipped. Then just whip it. You actually want to start a little bit low, and then as it starts to become whipped cream, then you can raise the uh, speed, otherwise it flies all over the place. It's kind of like confectioner sugar in that way. And then just stand here. It might take three minutes. I don't think it's going to, but it might. That's what the recipe says. All right, it's done. It's stiff peaks. You can see it's standing up like little peaks. That's what I mean by stiff peaks. Now the only thing that's left to do is fold the two together. Condensed milk, remember me? Give it one more stir to make sure it's still combined and folds. That's it. What do you think about that? I don't believe I've ever showed you folding before. You go down through the center and up around the sides and then just repeat, turning the bowl like an eighth of a turn each time until all of the whipped cream has combined in with the other mixture, but it isn't too homogenous. There might be a few streaks left. That's all I'm saying. Then it goes into a loaf pan and you freeze it for a few hours and then it's done. And you can serve it and it's so silky and delightful. You'll see. Just pour it in, cover it up with plastic, freeze it for six hours, and it will be transformed magically. It's time for the big reveal. It's solid, but soft. Exactly the texture that you want ice cream to be. So let's take a look and see what it looks like inside, shall we? You're gonna see that this is gonna scoop so easily because it's perfectly soft. Look how that scoops. And I don't even have ice water. It's like perfect ice cream scoop. And I have this pretty little dish. Looks like real ice cream, but there was no churning, no special equipment necessary. A couple of sprinkles. I'm not usually a sprinkle person, but I'm just in a festive, colorful mood today, so I'm gonna use some anyway. It's super easy, it takes literally no time to make. I think you're gonna love it, enjoy. It's so creamy. Adding to my nostalgic dessert kick, I'm making chocolate dipped peanut coated ice cream cones. You know those ones that you would buy at the, well, the ice cream truck and you'd buy it, it had peanuts all over on the outside? Well, that's what this is inspired by, I guess. I don't actually even know the name of those, but I'm making them here and I'm making them today and I'm making them from scratch. The first thing that you need to do to start this process off is melt some chocolate. These are chocolate chips, a couple ounces. You're gonna need about eight ounces total and then fill some ice cream cones, just the bottoms with chocolate. This is gonna help it so that the ice cream as it starts melting doesn't drip out the bottom. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I have my ice cream cones standing up in some rice. It just makes it really easy to work with. It's kind of a cool tip. So stand your ice cream cones up, fill the bottoms with chocolate, shouldn't take too long for these to set. You can throw them in the freezer for a couple minutes before you add your ice cream. So this ice cream is my famous no-churn ice cream. I've made it before. You can watch the video. Just search for it right here on YouTube. And it comes out really great and you don't need any ice cream machine. So these ice cream cones traditionally are filled all the way up with ice cream and finished with a nice ball of ice cream on top. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gets a little bit melty, but don't worry because it's going to go back in the freezer before you dip it in its final chocolate. So put them in the freezer. And if they seem misshapen or anything when you take them out of the freezer, you can always just sort of fix them up a little bit. Now for the dipping, this is the part where you kind of have to work a little bit quickly. Stir a tablespoon of vegetable oil into six ounces of melted chocolate chips. So it's eight ounces total for the recipe. Now quickly, take your ice cream, dip, and then some peanuts on top. I guess you could dip this too, but I'm gonna sprinkle. Ah, starting to look familiar? Yeah, baby. 
and then back in your rice and to back into the freezer, obviously once you've done them all. And that's it, a super nostalgic treat from me to you and probably the easiest thing you're gonna make all summer. Mm. And the most satisfying. When you really don't have very much time to make a dessert but you still wanna serve something really special, try this dessert because there's like three ingredients takes about five minutes to make. You put it in the freezer, you can take it out and eat it whenever you want. And to top it all off, it's layered. And you know how much we like layering things here. So the first thing that you wanna do is take a small pound cake. Store-bought's great. You can make your own pound cake and that would make this extra, extra special. What you wanna do is slice it horizontally into thirds. It's not super duper important if it's completely perfect, but you know, try your best to be perfect because perfection is awesome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some vanilla ice cream, one pint. Let it soften a little bit at room temperature and then cut it out of its container and soften it in a bowl like this. Use your old cut it out of the ice cream container method. I'm just using a little ice cream paddle, but you can use a spoon, whatever you have. You have to just soften the ice cream until it's soft but not melty. There's a fine line, let me assure you. <laughs> Now I can layer it. I'm gonna do it right back in the container that it was purchased in. Take the bottom layer of cake, put it into your pan, put down some raspberries. Oh yeah, there's some raspberries that go in there too. Six ounce container. Take half of your six ounces of raspberries. I guess that would be three ounces, wouldn't it? And then take half of the ice cream. Here are things you may notice about us. We like layering things. We like berries and ice cream. This is a uh, small offset spatula. I love it, it's one of my favorite tools. It's so good at getting into small areas and spreading stuff around. I mean, there is a reason for all this layering and ice cream and berries, because it, it's easy, but it's delicious and it's fun and it's impressive. So it seems like you're doing more work than you are. And that's good. You want people thinking you're slaving away when you're really not. What else, what next? the next layer of cake. Final piece just goes right on top. Then before all the ice cream starts melting, wrap it up in foil or plastic wrap. I think either would work fine. And freeze it for at least an hour. You just want the ice cream to set and then you can take it out and slice it and eat it. Or you can keep it in your freezer for a couple days. It's make ahead and very easy. I'll see you in a few minutes. Serve it to your family, serve it to your friends. Easy, easy, easy. Very, very little effort and huge, huge results. That's what I like.